Hi everyone, my name is Della Phillips. I'm an artist among other things as well as I'm known as the Bicycle Lady. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Now this is not going to be a video uh, with some additional drawing exercises. I'm still working on the last one I posted. I feel like I'm getting a lot of benefit out of it. If you're working along with me on learning how to draw or improve your drawing skills, let me know your experiences with this or if you have any suggestions i would love to hear from you i promise i will promptly respond respond to all comments now let's get to it i just recently completed the sketchbook i thought you might enjoy a sketchbook tour i'm going to break the sketchbook tour up into two different parts because there's so many pages as you can possibly see now the sketchbook i have is a spillman and burns alpha I think in the future I'm going to try out their beta series, but we'll see. And let's get right into it. Uh, I'm calling this one of my little extras. The first thing is, of course, I have my name and personal information on the first page, which we went right on past. I have started keeping a table of contents. I thought it was a good idea. It was. Uh, I saw it when I was watching a YouTube video of uh, a gentleman explaining about uh, his concepts on keeping a sketchbook and what it should be used for. And I thought it was a good idea, so I'm doing that right now. And we'll see if I continue doing that in the future. First drawing is of a rosebud. I've gotten much better at drawing rosebuds for whatever reason. I have difficulty with roses. I love roses. I have them around. I have gotten much, much better about drawing them. Now I need to work on getting the uh, correctly rendering them in color. So we'll see how that goes in the future. The next drawing is uh, the rose I, I had that opened up. And I, I believe I got, got a real good representation of that. Here is a, one of the drawings I did of Mr. Bo, the comic strip. Uh, about four or five years ago, I was posting online uh, a drawing a day, and I came up with a comic strip type uh, character, Mr. Bo, based on my cat, and his name was Mr. Bo. Unfortunately, he just recently passed away. He was quite a tremendous cat. Now, don't get me wrong, he never would tolerate wearing that. He'd shake it off real quick. But um, it was fun kind of doing it. And here's just a quick little drawing of a copy that was I uh, received at a coffee shop that just opened up. Now they're closed, um, partially due to COVID and other matters, but uh, just a uh, quick drawing of the tray with a free coffee. Then this was a practice drawing. You got to do your drawings, as, as they say, a day at the very least. And that's what this is. It's of a, a wooden TV table with... A soap container, or a bacterial cidal soap here, spray bottle, and a sterile wrapped gauze. Here, my salt grinder. And this up here, you may be wondering, that's actually a silicone, what they call a silicone fruit vegetable cover. It works great for covering the top of this because the grinder mechanism is open and dust could get into it and I didn't like that idea. So I use that, and it works out great. I'm still using it today. Uh, this is just some more practice sketching of a airline bottle that I found with some others empty that I'd like to shape. So I brought them home and did some sketches, as well as this is sketching of one of Mr. Bo's favorite toys that's uh, called uh, Jedi Mouse, and it came with another item. It was Hamster Chapaka, and from Star Wars. He absolutely loved and totally disintegrated the uh, Chewbacca uh, hamster one, but uh, the Jedi mouse fared a little bit better. Not much, but a little bit better. This here is a picture that was posted by Art Pro. Occasionally I look at their videos. It was a draw along and I joined in with that. And I found it interesting. It's an old gentleman uh, picture of his his left eye, I believe. And here, something I did while doodling while watching a movie. I believe the picture was from Unsplash of a hen. So I did that with 
as practice doodling. I really got into that one. That took a while. This one was another quick drawing because I really didn't have the time of a peach blossom. I thought they were quite pretty with some of the pastel hues. It's cream with a slight hue to it. and But I wanted to get the petals, the gentle type difference of the petal shapes and relationship to the center. And the center would be totally surrounded with a mass of anthers like this. I may do that in a painting in the future. We'll see. This is a uh, drawing of my pencil sharpener, the doll. As you can see, I did edit myself there and I got the uh, the angle proportion wrong on that, I guess you would say. Here was uh, my handheld MR brass sharpener. And uh, that was out of proportion, so I redrew it and got better the second time. As they say, practice, practice, practice. Here was a drawing of my uh, stainless steel thermal cup. I, I keep near my desk uh, with ice water. For whatever reason, I got... Just land on that wrong, and this I don't know why I drew it super super small. Uh, you some others may recognize it as being one of those prop up pucks that you can buy. I actually enjoy it, I have a full set of them, I use them here again. I was struggling on getting the port portion right and getting getting everything done there again. Some more practice. This was of uh, an orange, which I thought I did pretty good on. This was another one of those small airline bottles that I picked up uh, with the first one that you saw. And you can see the progression of the different bottles. All of the same thing. Well, still a little bit out of proportion there, but definitely improved on that one. I have a little plastic skull. I couldn't afford one of those big skulls. I think they're at least $50 full-size ones. So I got one of the scaled-down models. It's all scientifically correct. I think it was around $15. What is it, 15 to $20? And it's about the size of an apple bottle like that. But all the proportions and I, uh, features on it was correct. It's a scientific model. So I got that. Here I was working on drawing a uh, Red Delicious. A uh, little bit off, but still not too bad. The values, definitely. I need more contrast in the values. Here, another practice drawing. I did a fingernail polish. I think I was sitting... Not quite square to the table, so I, this is kind of like in a lean position. You can really see it very well when you turn it upside down. That's how much it does lean. So I decided to redraw it and see how straight I could get it with some guidelines. So I did that. Another drawing of the plastic skull straight on. This is of a, a silver thrift store, silver plates thrift store sugar bowl. A little bit off, but not... Uh, with some of my uh, insulin syringes and the ibuprofen bottle. Now this one I was really trying very hard, took a little more time, of rendering a peach. I was trying to get that fuzzy feeling and I don't think I quite accomplished it. I'm still having some issues with it. I guess I better change my story and say I was drawing a nectarine, I guess. I'm just joking. But I'll work on that some more. And a sketchbook is where you should work on those things. This was one of, another one of those little airline bottles. I thought it'd be a great contra lines practice, which I did. Now this I'm definitely going to be used as an item in a future painting, and along with some other things. But I'm glad I got that part of it worked out in the sketchbook. I like it a lot. Here I needed to practice. Didn't have anything practice, so I grabbed the toothbrush uh, that I taped with my watercolor brushes that I use sometimes and drew it in different positions and contour line. Here is the Honeycrisp apple again. Actually right before I ate it. Uh, practicing it. You can see it's a little more squared off. Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Practicing the apple again. Hopefully you can see this as in the side position here with the stem here. I know it was very lightly drawn. Again another position of the same apple. This time, it's kind of like in this angle with the sim coming out here. And then again, here's the apple again where the stem is fa facing straight onto you. Another practice of the doll pencil sharpener. I guess if this, this is out just a little bit, it needs to be 
but still improving. Uh, this was a little horseradish con uh, sauce container that I got. I thought it was interesting little pot shape that it was in. So I drew it. Uh, granted, the, some, the symmetry of this side and this side is not totally mirroring each other, but still, not bad. I didn't have anything to draw. I need to get my drawing time in. And I just went to the store and one of the items I had out on the desk was an air freshener. So, I drew it. And then another item I got when I was at the store was some tomatoes. And I drew them. I took a lot more time with that. That was another day. And I used the Lumograph pencils. That's a, a mixture of carbon and graphite picture from Stadler Mars or Statler Mars. However you pronounce it. Let me know how you pronounce it. A quick drawing of a blood glucose meter kit. And some containers that used to have test strips and I now save them because they're airtight for various art reasons uh, storage. And then a very small drawing of what's known as a continuous uh, spray spray bottle that a lot of artists really love. It's got a very fine mist. Here, I thought it was an interesting bottle. It's actually wood glue, Elmer's wood glue. Drawing Mr. Bow again, practicing it. Some more practice is on the next page. Here. I was a little bit out of practice by the time I drew that, so I was just practicing Mr. Bow. This one was not as successful. These are better. I think this one's the best. At least in my opinion. We'll see. Drew the water cup that I use with uh, with watercolor. It's a uh, collapsible silicone cup from Faber Castell. And then I did some uh, drawings and studies of apple stems. And then this is a. I was going to do some more, but I, I didn't get around to it. it. Was the blossom in the bottom end of the apple where the blossom had dried up. Didn't have anything to draw again. Had the uh, magnifying glass out. So I put my dusting brush on it and uh, drew them up. The contour line. Uh, another item that was on my desk that I need something to practice and draw was an Euler bottle. It's great to put mask in. It gives you a nice controlled line when you put it down. You can also use it for other techniques. Uh, the sugar bowl again, I was trying to work out exactly how to get the oval correct. Still need work on that. And then here is my electric eraser. It looks familiar, doesn't it? Well, mine is blue. Uh, if you have a white one or a silver one, it probably says Faber Castell on it. This one was blue because it first came out uh, with the uh, Statler model. Statler or Stadler logo. Tell me how you pronounce that name. And it still works. It's over eight years old. Uh, it still works fine for me. So, But it's the exact same size, same design as what you would get if you bought the one from Faber Castell. And then, of course, none of these are drawn to scale to each other. Uh, this is a thermometer I keep on my desk. Of course, breath mints. And this is definitely a, a five to ten minute drawing. Uh, new Kumu eraser is inside a box that catches shavings. Very lopsided bug spray. Here you see this part here of the puck. Uh, it's, it's, it's off a little bit. But size wise and in relationship to each other, much better. Now here some people commented that I did take um, quite a bit more time than this quick five or ten minute sketch over here of a lily. I, I was very pleased with the petals and the bud. I wasn't, I thought I needed more study and detail of the center of the, the pistol and the anthers. So I did this drawing, which gave even better detail. And I was happy with the detail on that. So who knows, I may be turning back to this book to use along with some other references on maybe doing a painting of lilies.
We'll see. Uh, new drawing, contour drawing of the same spray bottle, except without the label on it. And then a uh, wing sauce model. Needed things to draw, so I drew some tweezers. I need work on that. I messed up on the tweezers a bit. And then the continuous spray spray bottle, a little bigger, and a paring knife. And hopefully you know what this is. It's a plastic 16-ounce Coke bottle. I'm not sure you can see all of it because it's not fully completed. But this is very, very lightly drawn out. And I'm not sure you're going to be able to see that. That's of the um, garlic paper. It's a garlic bulb that's been broke open. Here's the clove. Here's some of the paper. Uh, I'm going to have to revisit garlic uh, when I'm, I get some more on drawing and sketching. It makes a good subject. Here I was getting ready for a drawing or painting, pencil, colored pencil painting, I'm going to call it of amaryllis. So I did some studies of like uh, amaryllis buds. Here's one study. And then uh, this here is a contour line drawing of a fancy goldfish that I thought was a good, good looker. And here is some studies of tomatoes. On the surface this seems to be quite good, but really there's not a whole lot of change of values. So uh, this is better on the change of values and the rendering, but it's still, I think it needs some work. Did some more drawing to practice it, and here's another one, uh, which I'm much more uh, pleased with. Uh, there's a lot more differences in the various values still. I'm going to be working on it. You can hold me to it. Now this guy I drew just because he was so spunky. Came right up to an aquarium, side of the aquarium, and stared you down. <laughs> so I had to get a picture and had to draw him. Uh, this area here is a dark orange. Uh, the body is more of a light yellow with some black specks towards the back fin. I just came right up. Oh, I'm here. <laughs> stared you down. Now, going forward, you may see some notations on the books where it says Inktober. When Inktober came around during the lockdown, I didn't have but this one sketchbook I was working in and had available to me. So what I did, instead of intermixing them with my daily drawings, I flipped to the back and started from the back going towards the middle with the various drawings. And still continue to work daily drawings moving from the front to the back. This was a uh, die. Hopefully you can tell that. Now uh, this one I'm going to stop with because this is getting a little bit long. It's an initial study about using uh, Asian lilies. You commonly can get these in stores uh, maybe in butts and they fully open up and they look like this. Uh, possibly using that as one of the flowers and then like a flower still alive in the future. So it's important to me that practice drawing and also Maybe work out some things on the initial drawing. That's it for part one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. It also tells not only me, but also YouTube that you like this type of content. As well as consider subscribing. Until next time, have a wonderful day.